Good morning YouTube. I have a little bit of a problem. I'm going to try to reuse these little blocks that held my micro switches. I'm going to make it a bearing block to hold one end of my lead screw. problem with it is I need to recess a bearing and drill a hole all the way through. <clears throat> I've got a three jaw chuck here in my lathe. I don't own a four jaw. I watched a video this morning and got the idea to take a ring and make a cat eye I believe it was called <clears throat> only I'm kind of gonna make it in a little different fashion I'll take and face this off and drill four bolts <clears throat> put bolts in it to be able to basically make a four jaw chuck out of this round ring and then be able to chuck the ring up I use the back of the teeth for a dead stop for the block so they don't go back in and We'll see how that works. So I've got the ring mounted up here this morning and I'm going to face it off. sides just to make it a little more user friendly.
started to turn on me a little bit that time and just slightly off. Really don't like the way that looks, but we'll make that the outside. And it shouldn't matter. Alright, I've got my lines laid out here. Four equal marks. Extended that line and measured a half inch from the edge. I'm not sure if you can see that or not on camera. I'm going to center punch those and I'll meet you back over at the mill. Drill and tap a 3 8 hole in there. Should be good to go. On the last hole here. This would be a lot easier if I had an indexing head or a rotary table, but I don't. should work.
There's the finished bearing block. Slightly ran into an old threaded hole there, but it's not going to really affect what I've got to do with it. Bearing set in it. Ready to go. One more to go.